Hey UW Style Seniors, um, graduation is coming up really quickly and uh, some of you have mortar boards, some of you might not. So what I thought I'd do today is show you how to construct your own uh, mortar board. So if you've taken a printmaking class, uh, my suggestion to my printmaking students is to take some of your old proofs or um, prints that you aren't um, going to, to keep. So um, printmaking paper works great because it's heavyweight, but again, construction paper works fine. So I've cut mine down to a 12 by 12 inch square here for you art and design students that's really simple and easy to do. And then you want a, um, a three inch long strip. You want this to be pretty long. I've actually glued together two pieces of paper here. You want it to be able to go around your head with some extra space. Um, so I've glued mine uh, together. And then you want a two inch long line, if you can see that, um, down one of the ends. You want some scissors, pencil, uh, an X-Acto knife. Um, you can just use scissors if you want. A ruler is always handy. Something to make your, um, your tassel out of. Some glue. Uh, and then um, just because it's always handy to have tape also some tape. My glue is kind of not working well, so I have some Q-tips to dip in there. So work with whatever you happen to have on hand. It doesn't need to be special or fancy. So what you're gonna do first, after you have your three inch long strip, um, you want to cut little notches in it. So I'm just taking my scissors. These don't have to be measured. It should be about every um, inch three quarters of an inch would be fine. And I'm just making snips. This will make sense in a minute. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna loop this and then measure it on your head. Pull it off your head, and I've got mine pre-measured for the overlap. This is gonna be the part that I'm gonna glue. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna uh, bend my teeth down. So you School of Art and Design students that have gone through 3D design, even 2D design and done scoring and cutting, this isn't going to be hard. Um, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm going to bring mine around and adhere it. Um, you can use any glue you want. Just regular old Elmer's glue is great. I have Elmer's wood glue because it's what I happen to have available and in my studio. All right. And um, you want to let that set for just a minute. And then you're going to take your 12 by 12 inch piece of paper. And this is going to fit down right on top of it. I just want you to be able to see that. So the teeth are what adhere to the top. All right, so <clears throat> I've had my headband kind of gluing here, and I'm gonna just center it onto my mortar board top, and then I'm going to take a little more glue, and I'm just gonna do a dab.
flip this over it, center it, and then I'm gonna hold those down to let them dry. Elmer's glue dries pretty quickly, so it'll only take a few minutes. If you're using a glue stick, Sometimes it doesn't adhere quite as well. You might need quite a bit more. But Elmer's or another glue that works with paper is excellent. So I'm just gonna hold these in and let them dry. You want it to be extra super strong. So, um, I have attached my um, headband to the top of my mortar board. Uh, it's um, glued and has been drying and then what you want to do is imagine there is an imaginary X right in the center of your uh, mortar board. You want to take your scissors and just poke a little hole in the top um, and that's where your tassel will go. I'm going to let that keep drying. You're going to grab your ribbon or yarn or whatever it is that you have that you're going to make your tassel with. Take a small piece of tape. And then um, I just grabbed a uh, box from my studio. This happens to be uh, the box that holds my chisels. And I'm just gonna wrap this around a whole bunch of times. short piece of ribbon and I'm going to slowly coax this off and I'm going to tie these right in the center. off my little tape pieces. And now I have this sort of, um, it looks like a bow almost. Um, don't snip these ends just yet. I'm going to then take a longer piece because I want this to hang down. to the center of that bow. So it's like that. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Then I'm going to take, take the bow and I want to fold it over on itself. And you can just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Trim that off. And then I'm, I'm actually going to tape this. And, and now we have these end pieces, and you're just going to trim those up. Just like that. And then I am inserting this into the mortar. 
mortar board. And you can kind of decide the length at that point. Trim off the end, grab your little pieces of tape and tape it down. That way you can reposition it if you want. And you can just leave the top as is. I just happen to have in my studio some blue circles that I had created for um, something I'm working on. So I'm just going to take some dabs of glue. And cover that spot up. So it looks nice. There's the top of my mortar board. Put it on my head. And I am now ready for graduation. <laughs>